What does $700,000 get you today here in Southern California? I'm Corey Summers, your local Los Angeles luxury realtor here in Lake Balboa, about to share with you a great story that happened with one of my clients. So if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please take a moment to click that subscribe button below as well as the bell for updates. And I'll be right back to share. Hi everybody, it's me, Corey Summers, your local Los Angeles luxury realtor. Today I'm here in Lake Balboa, standing in front of a home that my clients recently purchased. This is a lovely, lovely millennial couple. This is their first time home. Now we looked at a lot of beautiful homes that were mid-century modern remodels, but they decided on one that actually needed work. And the reason is his parents have flipped a lot of homes and updated homes and he's kind of grown up around that and they wanted the ability to put their own special touch on it. So I'm about to introduce you to my clients and we're going to take a walk through this home. I'm here with my clients who are right behind me, Lawrence and Joan. We're keeping our safe six feet social distancing going on here. We looked at a number of homes. Um, in particular, you guys have a passion for mid-century modern like me. So we saw a lot of homes that were completely renovated and updated and really lovely. This home needs some work. Share why you guys decided on this particular home. Yeah, you know what, what really sold us about this home was in particular the area, right? So um, I think Corey will give an overview to the area, but there's a whole bunch of trees here. The streets are really wide. Um, and you know, not only the area, but also the potential that this house brings, right? So this house, uh, it's like a three, maybe four bedroom with a den house. It's 16, 62 square feet, so it's relatively large. And there's just a lot of potential, right? Um, what, what I liked most about this house was that um, it, it was, it, it brought a sense of home when I came into it, right? So it, it, it welcomed me home because the hardwood floors as we're going to go inside, you know, the area of the kitchen, right? Because for a lot of the mid-century modern homes we saw, you know, it was just out of our price range and it's just really hard to kind of decide that we really needed, um, you know, do we really need to, you know, be house poor, right? When we really just need something, you know, just a home to stay in for now. Right, so we're looking forward to uh, renovating this house and hopefully making more memories in this house as we start our journey, right? So, you know, we're, we're recently married, you know, we've been looking for a house for a while. So, you know, we're, we're really hoping that this is gonna be, you know, the first step in our marriage and, uh, you know, this is gonna make us stronger, right? So we're looking forward to, we're looking forward to this, so. All right, well, let's go in and take a look at this home because sure. again, we're gonna do a before and after. And I'm super excited about the process you guys are about to embark in. And as we pulled up, you're already getting started on the yard. So this is gonna be fun. Because we wanna, you know, replace this door. Like it's a door, it, the house is south facing. And one thing that we don't like is that there's no light coming through the door, right? A lot of the other houses here, they have windows in front of the door. So it's really nice to let in some light into this house. As you'll see, it's pretty dark in here. So let's, uh, let's take a look here. So this is pretty much what the house looks like here. And you know, one thing that really I liked about this house was this beautiful parquet flooring, right? This is something that was original of its time. I mean, I think this is a mid-century uh, ranch, right? It is. Yes. Yeah, it's a mid-century ranch. So that's one thing that I really liked here was that this flooring to me, it's very, um, it has character. It builds character to this overall home. Yeah. Um, you know, one thing that really, that this house really features is a lot of original touches. Like for example, we have the can lighting here. We have the textured walls here, which I'm pretty sure was a big hit back in the, back in the, back in the 50s. You know, one thing too that, you know, the biggest renovation that we're planning to do right now is in this uh, kitchen right now. So, you know, in this kitchen, you know, it's, it's really interesting, you know, it, I mean, there's wallpaper on the ceiling, there's wallpaper on the walls. You know, the appliances don't work. I mean, I don't even think they turn on, right? So there's a whole bunch of, and also linoleum flooring. I mean, this is just like a sticker, sticker floor right here. So, you know, we're just really looking forward to, you know, blowing out some walls here, right? So in particular, this wall. You know, this wall, we're gonna, you know, smash that right out. You know, I'm gonna do most of the work myself, so just save on some costs. So we're gonna be smashing out this wall. Now, one thing that this room here over here is this is a laundry room, right? It's a little bit, as you guys can see, right? This is the uh, laundry room right here. Now, one thing that we want to do is we want to open up this space here, right? So how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to make this, you see how there's cabinets here? Well, we want to make these cabinets cover the overall appliances here so that we can open up, open up this space here. So probably right where this door line is over here, we're going to have like a couple of cabinets here so we can just easily, you know, hide away the appliances here. Um, but, you know, <laughs> you know, one thing that I enjoy here is the little corner dining nook and you know, unfortunately, my wife said that this thing has to go. So, you know, I'm going to have to throw away this chair here. But, you know, it'd be nice, though, to, uh, you know, if you could reutilize this somehow. But, you know, it's fine. Um, 
But yeah, this is probably the one of the things that we're looking forward to, Corey, is you know, renovating this kitchen because you know everything here has to go. You know, the wallpaper yeah. ceiling. I mean, yeah, wallpaper ceiling, that was the first for me. <laughs> yeah, you know, the walls and you know the appliances, you know, updating them. I mean, I know that this, I mean, this is not standard size, right? This is a small oven. Yeah, it's a small oven. So we're planning to, you know, make the oven wider. You know, we're gonna extend the wall out here in the kitchen, right? We're gonna make it even with a sight line over here in the hallway. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of nice uh, things, I'm sure, back in the 50s, but we're in 2020 now, and, you know, times are different. So. All right, so we're going to go down this hallway where most of the bedrooms are, and, and I believe, Joan, you're standing near the Danish or be fourth bedroom, is that correct? Yes. Are you guys doing anything here? It has all this lovely wallpaper. Oh, my goodness, yeah, we, you know, this <laughs> wallpaper definitely needs to go, I mean, again, this is, you know, I guess what I like about this house is that it's original, but you know, I mean, come, come on, I'm like, I, I'm gonna get a headache just looking at it. Right? <laughs> so, you know, we're definitely gonna take this out. You know, one thing that we were planning to do is, you know, why would you put a, den, a closet in the den, right? So we're thinking about converting this to uh, the other way around, right? We're gonna actually put the opening in the hallway side and then close this wall up so we can have a nice coat closet over here. <laughs> And then, um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's a nice den. Um, you know, definitely needs some new paint, but we're definitely not sure about this railing. I'm not sure about Keith, yeah. but might take it out. You could always paint that white. Yeah, we could. And then we put pictures. Do all your trim there. white, do trims, do, do your photos, yeah. It's it's your office, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll think about it. You know what I'm thinking now that I'm looking at this room? I'm thinking we might need to install like a solar tube in this room. <sighs> I already have the sliding door. <laughs> I know, but it's kind of it's kind of dark even without the. Oh, uh, okay. No, we're gonna put how many solar? <laughs> Could put like ten solar tubes in here. You know, one thing that happens when you go to this hallway. Do you feel that, Johnny? I feel a little bit cold. It's a little bit cold in here, right? It's so dark, and it makes you feel like you're, you know you're somewhere else. But um, you know, again, you know what I really like about this house is the hardwood flooring just everywhere in this house that flows. And it relatively is in good shape, right? I don't really have to, you know, hopefully not do too much work here. Now, oh, this room is interesting, right? Because, um, you know, one nice thing is, is that this would be the guest room, right? You know, some folks are saying, oh, should we make this a master because there's a connecting bathroom? But, you know, sometimes I want my guests separate from us, way separate from us, right? I don't want them to have their privacy. So one thing that we're going to do is we're going to, you know, we're going to keep this in here. We're going to keep the back walkthrough bathroom in here, right? Ooh, you know, ooh, you see the more wallpaper here. So, you know, definitely what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be taking out this wallpaper over here, gonna smooth it white. You know, this is Joanne's bathroom, so she's gonna put a girl's touch on it. You know, we're gonna do black fixtures, white walls. We're gonna have that nice color scheme going on. Ooh, a little dark in here. I fixed the switch. So, um, basically, you know, we wanna, you know, widen this opening over here, right? Make it nice, big, let in all that light. You know, there's a nice window there, we gotta accentuate it. Yeah, so you know, this is the floor right here, and as you can see, it's just a sticky, you know, just a, it's just a vinyl sticky floor. And you know, luckily, I mean, that's great that the subfloor is still, still, in, still in good condition, so... So you're going to do tile, or just another... Vinyl? Yeah, you know, we want the floor and decor, not a promotion. And basically, we, know, we got really <laughs> wide, uh, wide uh, floor tiles here. So nice. they're going to expand, uh, maybe about, maybe two or three of them here, they're going to expand the entire length of the bathroom. Okay. So one thing that we like about the big um, tiles, Let's grout, let's set the clean up, so it's much easier for us to, you know, get this stuff. And, like and they're very, I don't want to say they're very trendy, but they are in trend, and, and I'm sure, what did you choose, like a gray, or? Yeah, so, you know, the flooring is like a concrete color, mm -hmm. and then, you know, the vanity coming in next week, it's going to be like this nice natural wood, white countertop, um, again, white wall, right, and we have a nice subway tile going on here in the shower, mm -hmm. right? Okay. And then again, we want to, you know, we're going to blow up, open up this wall here, let in more light. Awesome. But those, yeah, I look still forward original. to seeing that because this bathroom was depressing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me stop that one. We just did the first bedroom and then this is the second one on the yeah. left. So this one, um, I don't know what this is. I think it's an intercom that allows you to speak to different folks. It's kind of weird how it's in the bedroom. But yeah, with this room, um, you know, during the house renovation, Joni and I, uh, my wife and I will be staying in here for now. So, you know, one, one thing, the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to, you know, primer up this room here, right? We're just going to put some primer, you know, lighten up the space a bit. Um, you know, it's just going to be something temporary. I'm still thinking about what to do with this closet, right? Whether we want to leave it like this or maybe like do a nice closet built in. You know, have like three drawers here, have like two wardrobe closets here. But I'm going to think about this. It's probably a long-term project. Ooh, and one thing, Corey, about this house is that 
You see that? That's all so much dust. Yeah. We're going to change these windows out here, right? Yeah. So, I mean, I'm sure these windows were nice because, you know, you can fold them open, but, you know, they're just outdated. They're single panel. I mean, it's not going to work. So, yeah. I'm going to be replacing these myself. So, I'm pretty really? excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. So, you know, we, hopefully, we're going to go outside and I can talk about that, but, you know, we're going to be replacing these ourselves. So, that's going to be exciting. But, yeah, this is going to be our temporary HQ while we're doing the home renovations. We're going to primer it first. Right, so let's go to the other bathroom over here. And again, you know, the fun never stops with this house. So, <laughs> you know, the bathroom, Corey, yeah, I mean, this yeah, I mean, is Anytime quite... I see one of these, this is the sign of, this place needs some TLC and a remodel. Oh Game my goodness. bathrooms. <laughs> Such a 60s thing. And I love the, col the <laughs> color lights. I mean, you know, daylight and uh, bright white. But yeah, I mean, you can see that this... This needs some love, right? So yeah. one thing that, you know, what really drew me to this house was not only the character, but also the love that it needed, right? So knowing that we can sh uh, give some love to this house, you know, this house is just gonna, just gonna shine again. But I mean, ooh. So the fact that the house needed love and you could give the house love was what did it? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like his wife is not really agreeing, and she's not in this particular shop, but that's okay. <laughs> what do you say, my dear? <laughs> you know, you, there is a lot of hidden potential. So, you know, after much discussion, we talked it over, and I, I'm on board. I just have to learn a lot of patience mm. and have a lot of forgiveness. <laughs> <laughs> the cornerstones of any marriage yes. and relationship. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh, yeah, you want to go through the den? So we're going to go outside. You're going to share some of the changes you plan on doing outside, so, correct? So while you're walking over here, maybe we'll stand outside, or. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's talk about Put the bad backyard. I can see that my uh, dad has already started, you know, trimming down these Oh, sticks. wow, yeah. It's like cleaner. I mean, again, not to diss anybody, but there was so much stuff here. Um, we could see the potential with, with the turf and, and the beautiful fence, but like, wow, just the fact that everything's gone, what a huge change. You know, one thing that I like about here, Corey, is that, you know, there is artificial turf here, right? So, mm -hmm. you know, less maintenance, I don't really have to worry about yeah. it. And, you know, it's already, you know, it's already nicely shaped already, right? Mm -hmm. You know, I can see a lot of events going on back here, right? If my brothers want to get married back here, there's a tree right here, Aww. there's a school over there. Aww. You know, but it's, uh, oh, you still have green turf. So, Fantastic. And any, any other than the cleanup that's going on, is there any major changes you plan on doing back here? Yeah, so, um, you know, we're definitely going to upgrade, upgrade the electrical. So I know on the electrical panel, it's an older type, right? Yeah. I think when some folks look at the electrical panel, they expect, oh, it just should just be a metal box. And, right. you know, you should be able to modify it. But this house is special, right? So with this house, actually, put the electrical in here, right? In a nice wooden cabinet. So one of the first um, orders of business is to upgrade the electrical. One thing that our home inspection report said was, um, this uh, brand, specifically, uh, let's see, Zinco, Zinco, um, this was known to be problematic. So we definitely want to upgrade this. I mean, it could have any potential for failure, fire, hazard. So we definitely want to get this upgraded and changed. So that's one of the first orders of business once we uh, you know, start doing the full, full blown up renovation here. Okay, well you guys have a list of things that you're gonna do. How long do you think this is gonna take? What well, are you expecting? you always have to over expect, Corey, right? right? I mean, so I was thinking like, you know, our contractor said three months, mm -hmm. right? But yeah. you know, it's probably gonna be six months to a year, so. Okay, well, this is what we will do. Once you get finished with the bulk, uh -huh. so whether that's three months to six months, I'm gonna come back out here so you guys can show all the wonderful changes that you've done and, and your joy, cause, cause you'll be happy then, <laughs> yes. right? And um, we'll kind of, we'll, we'll take it from there. I'm super excited for you guys. I normally discourage first time home buyers from buying anything that needs this level of work. But I know we had a lot of conversations about that and you were very emphatic that you wanted to do this. And once you shared how involved your dad was gonna be and, and just all of that, I felt better because I never want anyone to get into something over their head and regret it. But, you know, honestly, like we talked about it a lot, Corey, where, you know, I've always, I, I walked to Home Depot, I'm looking around at all these things, like I was like, I was like dreaming about what can I do to my house, right? So one thing that I would like to do is like make the vision a reality. And um, the most powerful moment when you tell somebody, hey, we renovated our house that you did it yourself, right? So this is something really powerful that folks can, you know, just more, all the more to appreciate about this house, right? And I know that, you know, despite my wife initially not being on board, 
that you know her and I are going to get through it together, right? And it's just going to make our relationship stronger. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to us, you know, sharing not only you know the bad times with renovations, but also the good times, like enjoying the work that we've done to this house. So I'm looking forward to doing that with you. Yeah. So. I know you'll be at peace at mind that you'll know that once we renovated everything, you'll know every nook and cranny of this house. And I know that That's it was very done. Important to and you. I know that it was done right, right? Because I'm yeah. a very particular person. Yes, I will say this, folks. So part of my experience has been Lawrence knows enough about homes, like was asking some detailed things that other buyers don't necessarily ask, concerned about certain things. And, and yeah, I think you're going to feel really relieved knowing that all these things things that came up that we saw that you know weren't necessarily a problem but maybe not done in the way that they should be done you're going to correct those and you're going to feel so much better yes oh man and this is also a good father and son project ever since i moved out of the house i know my dad has been wanting to spend more time with me <laughs> so you yeah know, this is a good father and son project for us you know hang drywall argue about you know where the toilet should go so all the fun things like that his dad is so excited. He's already helping us. With I know. He already knocked down the tree down here. Yeah. yeah it, like I said, it on. looks so much better back here. Well, I just want to say I am really looking forward to coming back in a couple months once you've done the, the bulk of the work and seeing all the progress and seeing how excited you guys are and how much you enjoy the home. I know for sure the kitchen alone is going to make a world of difference and what you're doing with that living room is going to make a world of difference and the bathroom. So those are the big, big things that make such a powerful impact. But I love that you're going to take care of the windows, that you're going to work on the electrical panel because truthfully, our electrical needs today are so much different than what they were in the 50s or the 60s. So changing that is a very smart move, sure to give you a little bit of value and help when some years later you guys are ready to move on to the next home and sell this one. Yes. <laughs> All right, so we'll be back. Thank you, Corey. Thank you so much, Corey. You're so awesome. <laughs>